We are learning to estimate products. So we've done stuff like this before, so this should be fairly easy for you guys. Um, we're gonna start by rounding to the nearest 10 and multiply. So I did a little example over here where first I found where my 10 place values were. I rounded those numbers, that's the first step. So 23 rounds to 20, 31 rounds to 30. I multiply my front number, so two times three, which equals six. And then I just add the number of zeros, which is two. So over here, I'm gonna do that same thing, um, but do it with you guys. So I'm rounding to the 10 spot. So my two and my six are in my 10 spot. So these are the numbers that are gonna tell me what to do. So an eight, remember, remember that four or less, you let it rest, five or more, raise the score. Um, so my eight is going to tell my two to change into a three. And then we're going to put a zero in the back here. My two is going to tell my six to stay the same, a zero in the back. So then I underline and multiply my numbers in my 10 spot. So three times six equals 18. Um, and then I add how many zeros there are in there. One, two zeros. So I add two zeros. So that is my answer. On this one, we are rounding the first number to the nearest 10 and the second number to the nearest hundreds. So I underlined my 10 spot and my 100 spot. 76 would round to 80, 406 would round to 400. Um, I multiply those front numbers again, eight times four equals 32, and I add how many zeros there are. One, two, three, there are three zeros. So over here, I'm underlining my tens and my hundred spot, and then my numbers that are gonna be telling me what to do. So four or less, let it rest. So this is gonna stay 80. Five or more, raise the score. So that three is gonna turn into a four. And then I have two spots behind. So those are both gonna be zeros. I look at my front numbers. I'm gonna do eight times four, which equals 32. And count how many zeros there are. One, two, three. Add those in. And that is my answer for that one.